This is a review of our December 2018 British Airways Club World Business Class flights from Los Angeles to Chennai, India on Boeing 787 aircraft. We arrived about two and a half hours early at the LAX Tom Bradley terminal and checked in at the business class counter where there was no waiting. After check-in, we spent the rest of the time in the One World Lounge. This lounge is my least favorite at LAX. It's dark inside, there's no view, and the food choices are limited and mediocre. If you've watched other reviews about British Airways Club World seating, you know that there's a lot of criticism about it. All seats next to the windows face backwards, and aisle seats are front facing, but people complain about no privacy screens between the aisle seats and the aisle. To make matters worse, both window and aisle seats face each other, which can make for a very awkward situation if you're traveling alone and you're facing a person you don't know. There is a privacy screen between the seats, but it has to remain open during takeoff and landing and at mealtime. In addition, when the aisle seat is made into a life flat bed, the person in the window seat needs to step over the legs of the person in the aisle to access the aisle. On top of everything else, there is a storage drawer near the bottom of the seat cubicle, but it can't be accessed when the seat is turned into a life flat bed. And there's absolutely no place to put a water bottle when the tray table is stored. All of that said, I found my aisle seat with its bedding provided by the White Company to be extremely comfortable. I usually don't sleep very much on long haul flights, but I was able to sleep for over seven hours on the flight to London. I think that says a lot about the comfort of the seat and of the aircraft. I was also impressed by the cleanliness of the cabin. Yes, the 787 is relatively new, but I found the cleanliness of the 777 and the 747 aircraft on a return flights to be equally as clean. In the British Airways reviews I've watched on YouTube, there are a lot of positive comments about the friendliness and professionalism of the flight attendants. I found that to be true on our flights as well. After takeoff, we were offered drinks and then dinner arrived shortly after. This is a dairy-free meal that my wife special ordered a few days before the flight. I had a crab salad and a filet for dinner and then a chocolate mousse cake for dessert. Dinner was excellent. I watched a movie and then it was time for bed. I woke up when we were nearing the coast of England. Breakfast was served about an hour and 40 minutes before landing, and I had a full breakfast. Fruit and yogurt, and then eggs, bacon, sausage, and hash browns. Needless to say, I wasn't hungry after landing. Here's a shot of the seat made up into a flat bed. We had a two hour layover at Heathrow before our flight to India and we spent it in one of the British Airways business class lounges. This is an entire walkthrough of the lounge. And by the way, I filmed this video with a GoPro Hero 7, which has internal stabilization and the video was shot in 4K. 
There were a lot of people in the lounge, but we didn't have any trouble finding a seat, and the food was good. We boarded the flight to Chennai about 45 minutes after the scheduled takeoff time at about 3.30 p.m. and we arrived in Chennai at about 7 a.m. The aircraft was another Boeing 787 Dreamliner and once again I was impressed by the cleanliness of the cabin and the friendliness of the flight crew. We were served dinner shortly after takeoff. This time there were some Indian choices on the menu and venison stew, which in my opinion is a weird thing to serve on a flight. However, I seen some discussions on the internet about it being a popular choice. I skipped the entree this time and had the soup, cheese, and dessert. After eating, I went to sleep and slept for about five hours. As with the flight to London, I found the seat comfortable for sleeping in spite of its lack of privacy and being open to the aisle.
With about an hour and 40 minutes left of the flight, we were served breakfast. This time I opted for just the first course, which was mostly fruit and some yogurt. We also flew back to LA from India on British Airways Club World, but this time on a 777 and a 747. A video of those flights is posted on my YouTube channel. So would I fly British Airways Club World again? Definitely. I hope you liked this video. Please click the YouTube like button. The more likes this video receives, the more of a chance it will show up on a search for British Airways Club World. Thank you.